We're taking a bit of a diversion from our usual episodes of depression <laughs> to play The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit, which is a shorter game uh, set, I think, along the same time as Life is Strange 2, or at least nearby, because it affects what's going to happen in the upcoming episode of um, Life is Strange 2. So uh, I, from what I've looked in the reviews, it looks like this one's shorter. So I think it's probably only going to be one, maybe two episodes at most. And then we'll be right back on with the regular Life is Strange 2. So anyway, we're starting up. find some aliens. Hey, the ground is moving. The planet's gonna eat us. We have to get back to the ship right now. Then let's get the heck out of here. Oh no, the control panel's not working. We're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Hold on. Let me just give you a hand. Oh, I was about to say, is he gonna do some kind of power thing? Shorter episode, we don't have time to waste. Bring it right out. Oh no, he's just... Oh, he actually is. Okay, I thought maybe he was just like gonna play with it and it... Or he's gonna have it in his other hand, isn't he? They're faking us out, I bet. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> No, it's just me, Captain Spirit, who can bend all matter to his will. I did it. I still got the power. Now I just need to make a cool costume for Captain Spirit. Now is he an artist too? Every character in these games are artists. Oh, okay, he's Gotta not so cool much an artist. <laughs> He is a kid, though. <laughs> I can't give him too much shit. He's a kid. Mask or no mask? Secret identity or not? Oh, hmm. give him a... I give him a mask. Yep, looks cool so far. Let's see. What about the armor? Light armor or heavy armor? Oh, I guess go with the light armor. You don't want to be too heavy for flying around and stuff. So cool. Should he be dark or colorful? Oh, colorful. Come on. Have some fun with it. You're too young to be grimdark. <laughs> Beware, Mantroid. Watch out. 
Captain Spirit is ready for battle. He, he might draw like a kid, but he can do some font work. Jeez. <laughs> today watch cartoons uh what's that shark stinger hmm here comes the shark stinger what else we got is that basketball it'd be cool to shoot like that so this kid's got a dad at least hopefully he hasn't lost his mother dad took away my firecrackers when i blew up the garbage can last year <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. I wonder where he hit them. Kid, do not go blowing up the garbage again. What kind of a Viking would I be? Viking? What kind of name is Ralph for a Viking? Wish list. This isn't greedy, right, Santa? Plus, Dad will love that I want basketball lessons. Dear Santa Claus, I think I've been good. Here is my list for Christmas. Smiley face heart, smiley face heart. Hot dog adventures for the play box. Yeah, those hot dogs. Play box console. Uh, it's got to be black. Drawing paper and pens. Oh, he's stricken it out. He doesn't want that anymore. And then basketball lessons. Sincerely, Chris. Forest warrior. At least the forest warrior protect me from the snow ghost. This kid's got a lot of toys. Dad said he was going to fix that last month. <sighs> right? That's the play box, too, I bet. <laughs> I, I have one of those. <laughs> Only my brainwaves can activate the monitor. What's the little note that just popped up on the side? Press what? Come back. Press LT to see powers actions when that's displayed. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> okay, we'll come to that in a minute. I'm just looking around first. That was a fun birthday party at Pizza Arcade. I hope it'll be cool next year. Look, Chris beat the pants off of him. Oh, good job, Chris. I'm proud of you. Advent calendar. Mmm, chocolate. Thanks, Claire. So it's nearing Christmas, but not quite there yet. Won't open anything yet. Oh god, there's so much to look at. Mom bought me so many cool comic books. She told me never throw them away. I won't. Okay, that doesn't answer if mom's still around or not. God, I cannot deal with this kid having like a missing mom too. Breakfast. Uh be right there. Be right there. Oh man, I didn't even get to play with anything. Let me turn on the TV at least. It's gonna run out and press the button. Oh no, he... Th yes. He actually does have the power to... Oh, okay, come on game, stop <laughs> faking me out like this. Back. Do I have an inventory in this one? So glad I did my English homework already. Miss Stroud's pretty nice, and she likes my stories. Secret map. The secret treasure is buried out there in the wild. Now I have to locate the second part of the map. Hey, where, where is his house? Home base two, probably. The maze of doom. Said you know, is you narwhal? Down there in the bottom? Dan the Terrible? <laughs> Sorry, you're too cute to fight evil. I hope I can draw as good as mom someday. Okay, mom must still be around then. Good. <laughs> Chris, since you're going to be my own superhero, this book is a great start. You could be everything I'm not. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life watching you save the world. Love forever, super mom. Aw. Chris, I mean now. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm coming for realsies. I know, I'm coming! 
get to play with anything. It's Saturday morning, I'm supposed to be able to do anything. Next time I tell you to come, don't ignore me. Let's but I... don't. Jeez, Dad. This isn't a hotel, buddy. I get things to do. Pour yourself some milk. God. It's this guy's deal. He's a kid. He's like, he's just having some fun. Breakfast of champions. Oh boy. He's also got his own breakfast of champions. <laughs> What'd you expect? A waffle? Uh, it's it's fine, it's good. It's good. Oh, you can lie better than that. Dad, I'm not lying. It's just the eggs are good. Listen, buddy, you won't hurt my feelings if you don't love my eggs. I know this doesn't compare to your mother's breakfast. You know what? I'm gonna watch some cooking shows and learn how to be a super breakfast chef. And you can be my official food taster. Deal? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're drinking? <laughs> oh, I kind of do want to say that. You're drinking beer for breakfast. For meat? Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's game day. Dads are allowed to drink early. I hey, I don't need a lecture from my son. <laughs> Thanks. I, I don't drink that much. <laughs> I have a feeling I know why mom's not actually around. She's still alive, I bet, but. I mean, what am I supposed to do in this fucking town? Go to church like all these assholes? Oh, this is great. I'm sorry. Around your son. Don't swear, okay? <laughs> I don't. Superheroes don't swear. <sighs> Looks like I'm off the team. Nah. You're cool. Like a rebel. Hey, is your, uh, your arm okay? Looks better. Anybody uh, ask you about it or? Uh, oh no! Do not tell anything. me that the dad no. hit the kid. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> no, it's fine. I worked it out. I I just want to make sure you're okay, buddy. So so you must be excited for Christmas. Um, always. I'm always excited for Christmas. Hint, hint. I was hoping Santa might maybe get me a new console since mine is broken. Then Santa needs to get me a new job. It has to be a console. A basketball costs 10 bucks. Okay. Oh, since it's Saturday, are we gonna get a Christmas tree? You said we could get a real pine. Yes, I did, and yes, we are. But I just want to watch the game before we go, okay? But you always fall asleep. <laughs> I won't today. And if I do, just wake me up and we'll go. Promise. Okay. You promise? I do. Now go take advantage of your weekend. Perfect weather outside for you to play. Whatever. You're free. Come grab me later. I'm not sure I like this guy. <laughs> oh no. Someone really does need a lecture about drinking. Even if he does fall asleep, you don't want to wake him up. You're going to end up crashing on the way to the tree uh, salesman, tree farm, tree uh, tree place, tree store, whatever. <laughs> oh 
Okay. What would Captain Spirit do? My awesome things to do. I can make Captain Spirit's costume now. Maybe I can find what I need. Captain Spirit's treasure is buried around here somewhere. I need to assemble the two parts of the map to find the way. I need to practice my target skills on these dangerous beer cans. Superhero team is strong, but I need to keep my eyes on Mantroid and his super villains. I could play Mustard Party 2, but I need to unlock Dad's phone. Can't. Oh, I have a feeling that bad things will happen if you unlock his phone. Can't let the Water Eater defeat me this time. Mantroid is still hiding on his planet. With my full costume, I could use my spaceship and find him. And Snowmancer wants to destroy our town. Only I can stop him this time. Those dishes definitely need a Mega Clean. Oh, Mega Clean him up. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> Exciting. A dish cleaning action here. Oh, Jesus, what was that? What the hell are you doing in there? It doesn't even answer. Well, uh, don't look in the sink. Hmm, maybe I could cook something for Dad. Oh, don't. Ew, sticky beer cans. All right. I mean, if they're... He's already drunk those, right? Yeah. All right, throw them out. Pulverize. Do it. The beer can monster cannot be. It's gonna get pissy whenever he hears noise, Seriously? right? Oh, okay. <laughs> Dad's going shopping. Sugar, paper, battery, coffee, beer, milk, barbecue chips. Hey, if he's got beer on the list, I can add ice cream. Let's <laughs> see. What do we need? He's not going to like that when he finds it. I've never seen a beaver around here. <laughs> It's early, but I can make Dad some mac and cheese. He's too lazy. Oh, vomit! <laughs> you know what? Don't, don't cook anything for you, Dad. I just do not see it turning out well. Read the newspaper. Boring. Like a real kid would do. The Great Northwest local police face more protests and shooting death. Oh, yeah, this is connected to the first episode of Life is Strange 2. Small riots and protests have continued to mount one month after the unexplained deaths of a local man and a police officer. An official statement from the police has not been released, but sources say the man appeared to have been shot by the officer while the latter's cause of death remains unknown. The Seattle Police Department have been accused by civil rights groups of mishandling the incident, which led to the public protests and rioting. They absolutely did wrong. Absolutely. Hush key. God damn, you're on fire. We never use this door in winter because of the snow. It's in here. Besides darkness. Oh, laundry. Ew, these clothes even smell dirty. I'll use some powers to wash them. Now you will learn your lesson and stay clean. What the fuck is this? Open your goddamn eyes! That was a goddamn carry! I can help Dad do the laundry using my mind magic. Can I actually use it now? There's no special interaction here. Okay, just wash. I hope I set this right. <laughs> You didn't even put soap. Dad doesn't want to set up Christmas decorations yet. Makes him think them all. Come on. Don't be afraid. Go in there and turn on the heat. But first, put on your magic cape. So I have to actually go and make the, um... Oh, that's nice, Chris. 
You're better than a housekeeper. Just don't ask for a raise. <laughs> hmm. I'm just too busy to care if I go online. Letter. Uh oh. Dear Charles, we just wanted to let you know how much we both care about you and Chris. I know life has been hard since Emily left us, but we're still a family and we intend to keep it that way. Okay, mommy is dead, right? That includes making sure Chris is getting all the care he needs at this fragile age. We've always been honest with you, so please take our concern as a sign of our love, the way you loved our beautiful daughter. Uh, we also heard that a, through a friend that you were in some kind of a bar fight, but the police declined to arrest you. Thank God. Please take care of yourself. To cut to the chase, we want to help, so we hope you will allow us to take care of Chris for the next year, or as long as you need, and consider joining a support group. Oh, he really is an alcoholic, and everyone knows it. Grandma and Grandpa are so cool, but no way I'm ever leaving Dad. We're not judging you in any way, only showing that we care by offering our home and love to your wonderful son. A letter seems impersonal, but we want you to think without pressure. Forgive us if you feel we have overstepped our bounds. This is the only. This is only about how much we love you and Chris. We're here for you both always. I'm sure I can beat my high score on Mustard Party too. Oh, this is not gonna go well if we get on his phone. Ah, I need a pin code. What is it? All right, we'll come back to that. Maybe I should make him breakfast. I wonder what would come out of that if I make him the mac and cheese. It's computer locked too. There's my hot dog man. Join the revolution. Want to play with hot dog man? Take a picture of your kid covered with mustard and send it over. Lots of hot dog man exclusive toys to win every month. I can't see dad selling homes. Real about your future today. Become a realtor today. Is he investigating how to become a realtor? Our 10-week course will give you everything you need to start selling homes, making dreams come true. Lisa Avena is the number one real estate agent and blah, blah, blah. She was featured yeah. on NPR. Is he getting us tickets again? Best dad ever. To HeroCon. That would be a blast being a freight hopper. Choo-choo. To all employees, recently our Beaver Creek field offices have received multiple complaints about unruly teenage freight hoppers in the area. They have a minor reputation around the Northwest, so please do not let them provoke you into a confrontation. Instead, if you encounter any problem or situation involving this group, please report it immediately to your supervisor. If you have any questions, please contact me by email or during our office hours. Oh, those are Dad's pages. Oh, not interested in that crap. Wait, could I actually, like, play... There's my hot dog man. No, I have to actually. That'd be a blast being a freight hopper. I have to play it on the phone. Oh, photo. Oh no. Okay. I wonder why <laughs> Dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. Western land. I wish I could have gone on a hike with Mom. What if he doesn't hang out with that his friend Nick because he, he. I guess his wife died and he became an alcoholic and now ugh, he's like angry. <laughs> this has to be mom's. She liked art. Sorry, oh, yeah. Pop. That's it's war. That's it. <laughs> he's not gonna like this. Do it. Oh, cheap shot. I'm going down. Oh, he actually was nice about it. Okay, good. You can't kill the zombie jock. No way. That was a headshot. I am a super zombie. Well, I'm a superhero. Can't argue with that. Zombie down. Captain Spirit strikes back. Okay, maybe I will make him some food since he's not gonna like <laughs> explode about it. I was worried he was gonna have anger problems, like some real bad anger problems. Let's cook the mac and cheese for him. Beginning countdown to launch. Five. You gotta put four, water in it, kid. Three, two, one. 
Damn, you're on fire. <laughs> it radiates. Mm -hmm. Right. Big. It's going to catch on fire for real because you didn't put water in it. Still in progress. Oh, you actually have to wait the whole minute and a half, huh? Okay, we'll come back when it's fully on fire. There were phone numbers I didn't look at. Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool story, Dad. Bava's Pizzeria, Reynolds, and Dad's cell phone. Okay. Jeez, that is packed. I better take it out. Uh, all right. Uh, uh hello? Good morning, sir. How are you this glorious oh, day? Oh, no. <laughs> um, okay? Hey, who is that? Who keeps calling? I don't know. Uh, who is this? Thank you for asking, young man. My name is Derek, and I'm a proud <laughs> member of the University I thought it was a cult. Church. I'd love to tell you and your family about Jesus, our righteous Lord and Savior. Our church just wants <laughs> you and your loved ones to share the Holy Spirit. Spirit? Um, we're just watching the game. Well, always remember that our Lord is watching out for you. By the way, is your mother or father available to speak? Well, I have to ask first. Chris. Who the hell are you talking to? Nobody, Dad. Jesus is... <laughs> good, good. <laughs> you did not want to enter into that. Right. Oh, the food's probably done by now. What? Still going. Ah, oh, take forever. Still in progress. Come on. Any moment now. Oh, yeah, bring him his mac and cheese. Now clean your microwave. <laughs> Snack time! Did you make that for me? You wouldn't get up during the game, so I thought you could eat out here. I can nuke this mac and cheese in no time. Not bad. Not bad at all. You better start cooking from now on, buddy. Mom made the best mac and cheese. I mean... She did make the best mac and cheese. But this is the perfect comfort food for a winter game day. Thanks. Well, taste it first. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to taste just as expected. <laughs> it's best mac and cheese ever. The secret ingredient is love. Ah. Well, at least he didn't get upset. That I was okay. Maybe I've misjudged this guy. Maybe Dad want to watch an anime instead. Oh, he will not want to watch an no. anime. Dad. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. <laughs> okay. I'm frozen. I no, must go no. to fire. No. I stole a ball from that piece of shit. You suck! Goodbye, Log. Oh, use the power on it. Burn! Never burn. Burn! I have a feeling he's not actually going to have any powers. It's all just like that the entire game. Okay, what did I need to do? I need to make the costume. Find what I need. What do I need? Watch out, supervillains. Today I make my own superhero costume. Captain Spear doesn't eat weapons, but just in case. Tattoo. It is time for my secret tattoo. Only my team will know what it means. Yeah. Yeah, 
Apply! I can take the pain. <laughs> At least I don't have to use any needles. Don't those need water too? I've read this one so many times. Where the strange things went. <laughs> I miss Hal. He feels like he's so far away, even though he lives on the other side of town. Thanks for letting me read this. Now it's my turn to give you a book to read. Thanks, Hal. Oh, who would I call? This is Chris to the Flying Fortress. Come in, come in. Roger. I'm here. I hope so, Sky Pirate. What do you see up there? Have you spotted Snowmancer? Not yet. It's hard because of the storm. This is perfect cover for a Snowmancer sneak attack. Eye sharp. Keep me posted. Yes, sir. Roger that. <sighs> Thanks, Sky Pirate. Over and out. I know you're out there, Snowmancer. There's going to be a snowman we're going to have to knock down, isn't there? I miss playing ball with my friends before we moved. Hey, spider baby. I think you caught your lunch in your web. <laughs> and there's a snail moving so fast. He's in one place. <laughs> hmm. This is a perfect day to watch Frozen. Last time, Dad told me not to sing along so loud. I'm surprised that they reference an actual, like, real thing, like Frozen. I can't wait to go back inside the Flying Fortress. All right, do we have um, do we have what we need in here? Oh, the cape. Gotta have a super cape. Only Captain Spirit can wear it. Wear the cape. I can feel the energy flow through me. I have the power. Oh, now we got to get the mask. Where's okay. the mask? That's a good start. But now it's time to build the rest of my costume. I could take over the town with this army or the world. Is it time to start? I mean, I don't know what day it is. You know what? Have one. Jeez, good job, chocolate hog. <laughs> Did his dad take the chocolate before he got to? No superhero should wear those, but they're so comfy. Superheroes can be comfortable. Come on. Ooh, the shark stinger is looking for victims. Look out! Here comes the evil car! Ah! Oh. That pedestrian better get out of the way. <laughs> Intervene! <laughs> Captain Spirit! <laughs> That was your last ride, Shark Stinger. Yes, Captain Spirit saved us. You'll never run over anybody again. What else do we have? Oh, the basketball. Do you have like a little hoop somewhere? Oh yeah, right up there. Uh, air ball. I should ask Dad to show me again. I don't know what I might have in here. I think I've checked everything already. Oh, wait, rankings. Oh, right, the pizza arcade rankings. Interview. Welcome to W-H-E-R-O. Today we are honored to have an interview 
with the world's most awesome superhero, Captain Spirit. Hello, Beaver Creek. Captain Spirit, when do you think you will defeat Mantroid? Mantroid is a bully and a coward. He can't hide, but he can run. We heard reports that he is putting together a team of supervillains. Do you have any message for them? Ooh, I'll crush Mantroid. My message is that Mantroid will never win, and I will find you, and I will crush you. Yes, that is what this town wants to hear. That's my job. And that's why we love you. Can you tell us who your superheroes are? <laughs> me or my parents? Me. The only hero I have is me. That's good to know. Can you give us a hint about how you discovered your epic powers? No. <laughs> Okay, do you have any final words for your audience? Be nice and always fight for the good team. Thank you, Captain Spirit, for being our hero. And now back to W-H-E-R-O News. Is Dad on his phone out there? Oh, he's writing something. And I use the mirror. Okay. Cape looks good, but it's not enough for a real superhero. Gotta have the mask. Jeez, where's the heat? I bet the water eater is sleeping again. The water eater? <laughs> I wonder when I can start to shave. Do superheroes shave? Investigate the toilet. I can't believe Dad let me put these stickers here. Maybe he likes them too. I never get tired of Hot Dog Man. Never. The handsome Hot Dog Man, alone and forgotten. Is that it? The end of Hot Dog Man? Man, I love this issue. <laughs> Wish I could draw like this. What is it? What's happening to Evil Mustard? Oh no, not him. I'm gonna crush you like peanuts. <laughs> no diving today, Nemo. Oh, we gotta have something in here. Makeup. Ooh, now I can use that makeup from Halloween. Apply! Could make a mask out of that. No one will guess my secret identity now. What else would we one need? One more piece and I'm almost done. So we've got the the mask and the cape. What is that other thing supposed to be? Like gloves, maybe? Do we have anything else in there? No. Be something over there. Pardon me, coming through. Car keys. Okay, you guys can't hide from me. Yeah, take his car keys. He shouldn't be driving drunk after this. Dad, I found your car keys. That's where they went. <laughs> I swear I had them on me, but they must have fell out of my pocket last night. Just put them in the bowl. Cool. Yeah. Is there something else over here? Oh, it's the couch. Are you kidding me, ref? Why does he drink that if it just makes him mad? I carried it. They dropped this guy and not me. <laughs> this is it. I could run circles around that guy. Something I can do with it, but it's not activating. That closes that notebooks. I might have to do it from behind. I think Dad reads these. I think he just takes them from work. <laughs> what is that? Dinosaur toy. Ooh, it looks like Mar T Rex is getting hungry. Yes, hell of a dunk. Dinosaur Land is open for business. 
eat everybody. I am more T-Rex, and you are my lunch. Roar! This dinosaur won't need a grumpy old dad, right? Right? <laughs> no promises. Evaporate, oh no. I see what you're doing. Stop it. I didn't do anything. All that stuff on the... The shelf. I could go back in time. I'd go see him play. He looks so different in his basketball outfit. Dad never smiles like that anymore. 2005. <laughs> Dad was so popular. I assume 2005 was his senior year. No, no, no! Nothing in there? No, we can't exit yet. We gotta get the, the last piece. I already looked at the How books. How stupid are you? How can you not score here? Mine. It's taking all the keys. Does that open this? Open. Turn on the light, kid. Come on. Okay, it's just the... Oh. There's something out there. I was beginning to wonder if I was getting closer or not. Oh, who is this? Which foul demon is this? The water eater. <laughs> The city needs hot water. Tame the water eater. Uh oh, mash the A button. Got him. logo appears when a task has been completed. Oh, the water beast is tamed. Oh, some of those are filled in now. So, oh, we have to find the rest of the superheroes. Is there any kind of... No. Where's the last piece of hey, my Dad, outfit? The water heater was down again, so I fixed it. Wow. You put it back on? Congrats, buddy. I know you hate getting in there. I give him his car hey, keys. Buddy. Good job, buddy. What were you starting to say? Uh, maybe he'll say it in a minute. Can I go in this room?
perfume. I'm glad Dad kept Mom's perfume. It smells just like her. I hope I get to go practice with Dad again this summer. Fix it, it's broken. That does not look good. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ooh, the mystery of the secret key is solved. Secret key? What's that go to? Yes! Light on. I'm too old to be measured now, right? So this game takes place in, what, 2016, I think? So he's nine. Careful of booby traps. That's what it went to. Mm, Dad never told me he had a new friend. Charles, I'm sorry about what I said the other night. I was just pissed that you don't seem to listen to me when I express myself. My job can be very stressful, and I know it stresses you out, so that's why I want to be more involved in your world. I hate to see you get so sad when you make me so happy. I'm still waiting to meet your son, and I get the feeling you might be ashamed of me. Don't be angry. I hope I'm wrong, but you do say things that hurt my feelings. I care for you in so many ways and just had to express myself so you understand. I think about you and me together, so I hope you know this message comes from a place of love in my heart. Your tiny dancer, Audra. Sounds like he's almost not ready to move on. However long it may have been since the... What's her name? Emily, I think? Since Emily died. Wow. Dad had fans when he was playing in high school. Dear Charles Erickson, I am 12 and want to play pro basketball one day. My parents take me to all your games. You are great on the court. The last time... The last game was the best I've ever seen. I hope you're drafted for an NBA team. That's scary. Uh-oh. <laughs> he knows he's an alcoholic. So we moved because Dad couldn't pay for the house? That sucks. Your Mr. and Mrs. Erickson, our records show you have missed your third mortgage payment despite repeated extensions and assurances. While we understand and sympathize with every homeowner's situation, our office feels we have been more than fair in granting you multiple extensions. If you do not pay the mortgage by the due date, we will be forced to foreclose on the property. Ugh. Dad got fired? That's when he started working for the railroad. Finding out all the <coughs> finding out all the like family secrets now. Dear Coach Erickson, although our faculty respects your legacy and dedication, you have been reprimanded more than twice for your aggressive behavior, and with this recent incident involving beer cans in the pool after hours, we feel our only option is to terminate your contract immediately. We're sorry for this situation, but in the interest of safety, we know you understand that our students always come first. We've included a pamphlet with information on resources for alcohol-related issues. That's where that... That's where this came from. Dad used to always talk about this basketball. Oh. My. God. <laughs> Dad actually got me the new play box. No way. I don't know. That box doesn't look very new. That was not a no, don't leave the key. He's gonna know you've been in it. Dad doesn't play mom's records as much as before. What she got in there? That's how it's done. Yes. What a depressing room he has. And it's like the spots on the wall where something was hanging before. If I had you here, bring our hair together. I'd be boy and you. 
supposed to guide me to like look in there if I haven't already done that? Hey, get up. I can't lay here all day. I love listening to mom's old records. Cigarettes? Does he smoke too? If I smoke in the fortress, I'm breaking the superhero code. No, don't steal a cigarette. I could use this to make some cool armor. Oh, here we go. It's the other piece. Yes, this will totally protect me from Mandroid. My suit is almost ready. After I get some paint. Paint. Shoot, that's way too high for me to reach. Is there something I can use to get up there? Can I take the uh, step stool from the bathroom? There's nothing else in here. Mom and Dad would always let me sleep with them whenever I got scared. Paint? Where am I going to get paint? I mean, I've got the, um... Didn't I have something in here? I've got all the colors. There's something else I could do while I'm out here. Got that truck. Nope. He's not doing so well. Oh, I hate seeing him like this. Should I just go out? I do have the garage key. Maybe there's paint in the garage. Hmm, that snow looks super slippery. I could shovel it. What a good kid he is. Making dad food, he did the laundry, shoveling snow. Extra bonus points unlocked. It actually makes like, oh, you make footprints in the snow. Oh, that's a nice effect. I like when games do that kind of stuff. Can I knock the snow off over here? It sucks we don't use this landing bay much. It's so cool. The spirit mobile. I can't go anywhere without the keys. God, you could actually take the keys. Like, I know you could take the keys, but I mean, you could, like, get in there and try to drive? Kid, you should not be driving. Hole. Hmm. Looks like we had a visitor. How did that big hole get there? Probably a raccoon. God, it's dark in here. You guys are not going to be able to see anything, because I can hardly see anything. 
There's the light switch. What's that bunch of stuff on that box? Books. Combination lock. If Dad used a padlock, he wants to keep me out. Ah. Where are the hints for the the number? Oh, paint! Now I can color Captain Spirit just like my drawing. Is he gonna spray paint himself? Oh, he's got like a Sailor Moon transformation sequence. Captain Spirit to the rescue, and it's time to visit Mantroid's home planet for a change. <laughs> Is there anything else in here, though? Oh this no! This is where Mom went to school before we came here. We have all this like um, this fun like imagination stuff, and then oh, here's a letter about like something terrible, probably. Dear Mrs. Emily Erickson, as principal of Blackwell Academy, I wanted to personally reach out and thank you for your continued support of our art program for our prestigious school. We love displaying your work along with the list of other alumni. We all have fond memories of you here. So thank you for thinking of us and we hope you'll keep, we hope you'll visit the campus soon and see how your contribution keeps our dream alive. Oh, that was in Arcadia Bay. Oof, nobody's going to be visiting that anytime soon or ever. Mom didn't go to art school because of me, but she was already an amazing artist. Dear Emily, we received your letter of withdrawal and resignation and first wanted to congratulate you on your forthcoming child. While we are truly happy for you and your family, we are also selfishly sorry to lose one of our most promising students and artists. Your unique and witty illustrations have been well received on campus and in the school paper, so we expect to see more of your work with us. Or just, we expect to see more of your work with us and others. Hopefully, when you're ready, you'll consider coming back to Eugene State to finish your art degree and further inspire us. If you have any questions, please contact us. That was in 2006. So, 2006, was that when he was a senior in high school? Or was that 05? Either way, it was right around there. So, it sounds like she had planned to go to college and she got pregnant and yeah. Oh, wow. I remember when Mom drew that, and Dad couldn't stop laughing. Good night. Good night, handsome. Then, still in the sheets. Honey, you got a cold again. I told you to eat more fruits. <laughs> I don't get this one. I'm too young. Is that hin hin hoo hin? Why? Isn't it your turn, Mr. Officer? What's up, buddy? Oh, no. <laughs> He's got the... <laughs> <laughs> He's got the cop outfit on. Yeah, I think that my oh no that oh the binder I think that was exactly what I was looking at right. No. Mom and Dad always talked about how they met at school. Neighborhood Watch, the Jock and the Artist, Emily Wyatt and Charles Erickson, Eugene State. Oh, so they were in college. Okay, he was already in college when this happened. Never judge two books by their covers is the motto of this odd couple from Eugene, each of whom is making local waves in their respective fields, and why we're showcasing them in this week's Neighborhood Watch. Emily Wyatt is a cartoonist whose witty work about her strange life has been featured in print and the web, even in the pages of this paper. She hates all sports by her own claims, yet is engaged to Charles Erickson, a local basketball star who some say is headed to the Oregon Ducks. Ironically, they met at the library and found true love among the book stacks while helping each other study for their torturous finals. I'm math and she's art, says a shy, blushing Charles, clearly a man in love, which are actually the same thing from opposite sides, adds Emily with a warm smile, taking her new fiancé's hand. It was weird having my mom as my kindergarten teacher, but fun. 
My first picture. It looks so tiny and weird. Maybe I'm an alien baby. <laughs> Uh, what about that hole in the wall? God, look at the size of that thing. Did that did a raccoon make that? Jesus. Right, there's an auto save. So I think I'll pick this up next time, and uh, I it's probably one more episode. So it looks like we've got about half of what's going on. So until next time. Thank you for joining me. Good night.